I am excited to introduce semantic elements and custom HTML wrappers for Divi 5. Now you can change the element type of any module and utilize semantic tags like nav, section, header, and button to give inherent meaning to each. It's important for accessibility and SEO as it enables screen readers and bots to understand a page's structure. You can build your own menu using Divi elements and then change the semantic tag to nav to inform screen readers of its purpose. We also added the ability to add custom HTML before and after any element, giving you more freedom to create custom wrappers and inject code into specific areas of the page that a code module can't access. Let me show you how it works. You may be familiar with various HTML tags, such as div and span. Each tag has a specific purpose. The A tag is for creating links, the P tag is for holding a paragraph of text, and so on. HTML5 introduced new tags, including many semantic structural tags, such as section, article, header, and footer. Placing content inside these tags gives inherent meaning to your HTML, which means screen readers can identify where your page content begins and where one block of content starts and ends. Furthermore, elements like button let screen readers know that something is clickable. With Divi 5, you can build anything with infinitely nested elements, custom interactions, and more. You can create a button from an icon or even develop your own navigation using text modules and custom mega menus. Now, you can build those custom elements using proper semantic tags, turn the icon into a button, and turn your custom menu into a nav. If you are building a one-page website and not using the theme builder, you can group content into semantic sections such as header, article, and footer, among others. Within the new HTML option group, you'll also find two new code settings for injecting HTML before and after any element. It works like two built-in code modules, allowing you to add code directly to an element, which isn't possible with the code module due to how Divi elements are separated. Semantic elements and custom HTML wrappers are now available for Divi 5. Give them a try and let us know your thoughts. We rebuilt Divi from the ground up and packed it full of dozens of your most requested features. Forget everything you thought you knew about Divi because Divi 5 is something else entirely. In case you missed it, we recently released canvases for Divi 5. A canvas is a workspace detached from your main post content. You can use them as staging areas for design updates, a place to store and organize off-canvas components, or simply as a safe space to experiment with new ideas. You can create global canvases to build website-level off-canvas menus and pop-ups, as well as local canvases for specific posts. There's a link in the video description to learn more. Thanks for watching, and before you go, I have one favor to ask. If you are a Divi user, please consider subscribing to this channel. It only takes one click. If you are already subscribed, be sure to click the bell icon to receive notifications when we release a new video. These videos are the best way to keep up to date on the latest and greatest Divi features, and they are the perfect way to get up to speed before updating your websites. Thanks, and I'll see you soon for another Divi 5 feature announcement, which I promise is right around the corner.